It's in Beechwood and there's no ducks involved. That's it, short and sharp. Well, there we are. Probably a bit like this beer, <laughs> which, is what I'm, which is what I'm dreading. Hi everybody and welcome to another session of German Beers with our resident experts, old Dave D. Afternoon. Afternoon. You good? Not too bad, thank you. Not you? Too bad. So after the previous beer, which was quite sour, uh, we're going to delve into, into into a new one. Um, word on the grapevine is it's um, it's a duck. Is that right? Well, almost. It's the Duckstein. Oh. Well, I was half 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 right. The Duckstein. Yeah, Rot Blonde Original. It's, I think it's um, what's called an alt beer. An alt beer. A-L-T beer. Uh, is that an alternative beer? I assume so. <laughs> well, I have no idea what this means then. Go on. Come on. Well, so, tell, tell, tell me all about it. Well, this, this beer yeah. uh, is, is matured in Beechwood. Right. So that must be something positive for you. Yes, it is. It got got anything to do with ducks? Uh, no, no. Um, I think it. I think it's meant to be a, sort of a copper coloured or dark yeah. copper. Yeah. And that's it, is it? That, that, that's that's it. Yeah. Look, listen, look. Before we before we jump out of it, look. That's that's a lovely emboss. Yes. I'm loving this little authentic kind of yes forty bit. And the the label's not a standard shape either. No, it's not. No, I mean I'm 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 already enjoying the bottle. I Good. Good stuff. This time around, and I'll just mark the bottle. Thank you very much. Um, that's that's a rather nice nine for me. Nine. I'm going to go eight for the bottle. Right then. Shall we, crack Shall we it open them and have a quick goosey goosey gander? Oh no, that's not a duck, is it? That's a goose. It's a goose. Different. Yeah. Loving the sound. Oh, you're right. It is um, copper coloured. Yes. There's a red there. That's right. That's a well, lovely colour. I think you've got to say it looks promising. It does. It really does look promising. I mean, you've said copper. You've said beechwood. Um, that's it, that's that's going to get a nine for me again. Oh, I'm going to go with a nine. The, the froth. A bit of fluff at the top, lots of little bubbles. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Agreed. The colour, it's got lots of subtlety about it. Oh, thank God for that. It's not a sour. <laughs> <laughs> Phew. <laughs> oh, actually, do you know what? That's rather a, a dandy little taste, that is, from this beer. That taste. There's a there's a few different layers to it. Oh my gosh, that's a gorgeous beer. I think that's. A, Thank God you chose one. I chose a good one, did I? You, yeah, I think you've chosen a really good one. Well, I, I think I'm going to surprise you with the um, the danger. Are you? Yes, because this makes me feel like saying to you, stop the recording, we'll drink the beer. Wow. Wow. I don't I don't think you've ever done one where you've said that before. Not even with the ones you've given a brilliant score. I have to say though, I'm that's what went through my mind. I, it's funny because I, it, it's not like an explosion of flavour, but you know the flavour's got different depths to it. Yeah. But you you just want to drink it, don't you? And and that's the reason why I'm not saying much, and that's the reason why it's already gone down so quickly. You do just yes. drink it. I mean, I know that's what you want to do with beers, but you really do just want to drink it. You do. So my danger's ten. Well, I'm going to have to agree with you. 
And, and, you know, this may well be our quickest review yet, but for me, taste is a 10, honestly. Well, I think that's a great start. I don't think there's much more to say, is there? So what, what about your scores? Oh, scores, sorry, yeah, yeah, right. Sorry, blind me, I forgot all about that. Um, <laughs> I've got, I've got 38. Nine and a half. Yeah. I've got 30... I think that's marked it too low. Well, I was about to say that. I've given it 37 for nine and a quarter because I gave it one less for the bottle design. Yeah. So, But I, I would add their two scores. I would go with your one. Good. Nine and a half. I truly think, though, that this is actually a 10 beer if, if you were just going to do it on taste and, and danger. I mean, it's cool. Yes. So as this is an absolute brilliant beer, Dave D, we've now got to think about which brilliant Leeds player, not there's that many, I can probably none. But anyway, what brilliant Leeds player do you think this is associated to? I'll give you first dibs. Because I'm coming. Well, you me to allow me to choose first? I'm going to allow you to choose first, yeah. Right. Based on the taste and the danger. Mm hmm and the fact that when you look at the bottle, it might not be what you're expecting. I have no hesitation Ooh. in going with John Giles. I think I'm going, as you've gone for John Giles, I'm going to go for John Giles. Okay, that's that's, that's a really he, good one. Because he used to play for, your, was it Real Madrid? No, Juventus. Juventus, there you go. So he was, <laughs> he was, he was brilliant enough to play for Juventus and brilliant enough to play for Leeds. I think tail end of tail end of the sixties, but John Charles is this beer, and do you know what? I'm proud to have him in my team. There you go. I'm saying that as a Liverpool fan, I'm proud to have him in my team. Well, it's a good choice because he could play um, centre back or centre forward. Or in goal because I've got no goalkeeper yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's. I, th I think that's a good choice. Two brilliant players that actually match a brilliant beer. And I think that's amazing. It's ducking brilliant, isn't it? Mm. Bit of a pun, isn't it? <laughs>